Today we're going to test one load in two different mini revolvers. Earlier I was testing several different loads in a 22 long rifle snub nose revolver with a two and a half inch barrel and I had some surprising results. This ammo, this Winchester loss leader bulk pack ammo, 36 grains copper plated hollow point beat everything else I tried including CCI blazers 40 grain CCI mini mags 36 grain hollow point plated let's see what else federal 36 grain copper plated hollow point CCI velocitor 40 grain, which is supposed to be hyper velocity, and even CCI Stingers, which are the, the classic hyper velocity 22 long rifle. It's only 32 grains, but it's supposed to be substantially faster. And this ammo beat it in that snubby revolver for, I calculated the energy of all the loads and this beat it. The, the Stinger did 68 foot-pounds in that revolver. This did 75 foot-pounds. So I found it to be un, unbeatable in that revolver so I'm going to test it in these two. Now a quick note is I recently tested velocity of my uh, Magnum Mini with the 1 and 5 8 inch barrel and I tested several different uh, types of 22 Magnum ammo and the best load that I tried in that got about 88 foot-pounds and uh, now this the Black Widow with the Magnum cylinder in it beats that by a pretty good margin so in the Black Widow the Magnum ammo is definitely worthwhile of course my other Magnum Mini only has a Magnum cylinder, so I can't try 22 long rifle in it. And yes, I did check this 22 long rifle cylinder to see if it would work in it. And also another cylinder that a friend let me borrow. And uh, neither of those would fit that frame. So I don't have any cylinder I can test 22 long rifles out of in that particular gun. So that particular gun is 22 Magnum only. And it does, like I said, by my testing, it only does 88 foot-pounds, which is not bad. That is uh, 40 grains at 1,000 feet per second. And uh, so that's not bad. But it surprises me at how close that uh, some of the 22 long rifle rounds come, specifically this one. So we're going to try it in these two, my little long rifle frame. Oh, which I've never even chronographed this one that I can recall but it's the one in an eighth inch barrel 22 long rifle frame tiny one and then my Black Widow which is a magnum frame but I have the 22 long rifle cylinder in it and that's what we're going to test today with this 22 long rifle ammo first the Black Widow That was pretty good with the Black Widow. Looks like a thousand feet per second average. Now, interestingly, 
that actually beats out of the same revolver. No, not out of the same revolver. Out of the inch and five eighths barreled Magnum Mini. It beats CCI gold dot hollow points, the short barrel load. Okay, now let's try the uh, long rifle frame, the micro revolver. That was very consistent, so I'm going to call that good enough. I think I actually chronographed three rounds, got three good readings out of that. And they were all right at about 800 feet per second. So that's actually about what I expected, maybe a little bit better. But uh, can't complain about that. I'd say that's probably the load to carry in this one too. And uh, of course the Black Widow is 200 feet per second faster. So, you know, and it's easier to shoot. So that's probably the best thing to carry. And interestingly enough, I don't know if I pointed this out already, but that actually beats the velocity of the two and a half inch barreled snubby. Of course the two and a half inch barreled snubby is double action and holds nine rounds so you know it's still if I were facing down something that was attacking me I would rather have the the nine rounds and uh, good handling qualities but you know if I had to carry a, a mini revolver I tell you what this load with the long rifle cylinder and my black widow is very close to being as good as any, including magnum loads. <laughs>